Hey guys, uh, super excited to be here. Uh, my name is Frederick Hedberg. I'm one of two founders of Tink and uh, uh, the technical half of our duos. I'm the CTO. I wanted to uh, take this opportunity to uh, just briefly introduce you guys to Tink, um, talk a little bit about um, a couple of, of, of general trends we see uh, in banking, um, primarily from our European perspective, but also here in, in or globally. Um, and uh, finally, to, to end off with a couple of, of uh, uh, interesting use cases where open banking, uh, uh, um, uh, where we see open banking as, as, as being something that's exciting. Uh, but first, uh, just very, very quickly about Tink. Um, so what we are trying to build is to build the platform as a service for the financial services industry. We like to um, uh, say that we provide the rails and the brains of this new open banking world. Uh, on the rail side, on the infrastructure, on the connectivity, we provide um, in a single platform as a service, single API platform, we provide connectivity to, to uh, more than 3,000 banks across 10 markets um, in Europe. Um, we provide capabilities for banks, for fintechs, for uh, insurance companies, wealth managers, whatnot, uh, the ability to access rich consumer information, uh, not only about payment accounts and transactions, but about assets, liabilities, about your mortgage, um, about your investments um, in a very structured way. Um, we also do provide uh, what's called payment initiation. Uh, so we provide in a single API the capability to move money around, to execute payments, to pay bills um, across these banks as well. We do this in a quite unique way. Um, we uh, have actually reverse engineered the private mobile banking APIs of all of these banks, um, and we unify that in a single platform and, and provide that to our customers. On top of that um, uh, connectivity, we provide value-added services. We provide things on, on, uh, in terms of data enrichment, cleansing, classification, uh, credit scoring, uh, geodata, merchant info, etc but also core personal finance management uh, uh, capabilities to our customers um, to help end consumers understand their finances, um, to, to make smarter, smarter financial decisions, uh, but primarily for our customers to do data-driven um, uh, uh, advice and to provide data-driven sales. Uh, briefly about us, uh, roughly 200 uh, colleagues uh, spread across Europe, HQ'd in Stockholm, 70% uh, of, of, of uh, uh, the team is in product and tech, so, so very, very tech-focused company. Um, we uh, uh, are very happy to work with uh, a lot of the incumbent, uh, uh, but, but, but still very kind of digital progressive banks across Europe. So we have customers like BNP Paribas, uh, Nordea, SAB, ABN Ambro, for example, NatWest in the UK. But we also serve uh, the long tail, the fintechs, the, the two guys in the garage, but also the, the bigger guys, the Klarna's and the PayPal's, which we were extremely happy to announce, uh, also joined as a strategic investor uh, uh, last week, and um, uh, together with a, a commercial partnership, of course, leveraging all of our capabilities, first in Europe uh, and then on a global scale. Uh, we are venture capital back, uh, backed. Uh, in December, we closed a round, actually led by Inside Ventures here in New York, uh, of roughly 60 million euros. Um, but just to go back a couple of years, uh, I think this was five or six years ago, it was an article in the, the Financial Times that, that talked about the fact that banking was heading towards a Spotify moment. And what was the Spotify moment? I mean, the moment where an entire industry is forever flipped upside down uh, and the output uh, of that, as we all know it now, is amazing consumer services. Uh, but the entire industry was flipped around, uh, very much like we've seen in travel, hotels.com, in transportation, um, and, and everything between. Um, and for us, the, the, the clearest driving factor, or the opportunity that, that uh, um, will accelerate this right now is what we call open banking. Um, we see two major trends uh, changing this industry right now. Um, the first one is quite obvious. It's about going from analog to digital. Uh, but it's not that obvious, um, because despite all the, the innovation we've seen, um, uh, there's still an analog banking world out there. Uh, most of the innovation we've seen has, has happened on the outskirts of the financial system, 
uh, and the incumbent banks are still the dominant players uh, in, in, in people's financial lives. Um, sorry, can we go, go back one? Um, but the interesting thing is the openness. Uh, and what we're trying to provide with our connectivity play and our uh, uh, data products on top of that is really to raise the monopolies uh, uh, that has yielded closed banking products before. But as I mentioned with our customers, it's not only the, uh, the fintechs and the upstarts uh, that we think can uh, uh, leverage this and can be winners in this. Um, as I mentioned, the, the, the smart banks out there, the progressive banks, have started to, to see this opportunity as well. Uh, and as a uh, few people know, Tink actually started out as a consumer play. Uh, and this is really where, where we learned where the world is going. So we actually launched a consumer app, uh, one of the first kind of uh, 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 fully virtual bank services. You could uh, not only view your, your finances in a single app across all FIs, you could also manage your money, you could get digital advice, and you could actually refinance your mortgages and, 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 and uh, uh, get better financial products. Uh, what a lot of these banks are seeing right now uh, when they're strategizing about the future, is the exact same thing. Of course, in the BNP Paribas app, you're going to be able to start using that app uh, without being a customer. Just connect your regular bank, start banking with the, 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 the BNP Paribas app. You're, of course, in the, the NatWest app, are going to be able to manage your money across all your banks, uh, no matter where the funds um, are. Um, uh, and we have a couple of, of, of very interesting use cases on that. For example, ABN Ambro in, in the Netherlands uh, leveraged these capabilities to launch their standalone PFM app that, that um, um, uh, drives engagement. Um, quickly um, uh, increased engagement for, for half a million users. Uh, a lot of their non-standard use cases are about leveraging this in, in the boring processes, uh, accessing structured investment data and transferring funds in, in onboarding processes. Um, same thing with mortgages, of course. Uh, not only refinancing mortgage, refinancing mortgages with, with um, uh, large online savings bank, uh, uh, SBAB, uh, but also leveraging payment capabilities uh, to fund uh, and onboard customers uh, instantly instead of, of, of leading out customer experiences. This is a super quick background on Tink, uh, the trends we're seeing, and a couple of use cases. Uh, we're uh, primarily working in re Europe right now, but we're still dabbling in, in some other markets. Uh, so uh, extremely happy to, to uh, answer whatever questions you have um, uh, and looking forward to, to the rest of the conference. Thank you very much.